stands out in front of the big crowd. Huge future ahead of this kid. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today is going to be a really fun one and I've been waiting for this for a while, but I've not had a clear day. So, today is the day we're using the Tenzi products to clean up the Fiesta and finally get it back looking nice. From afar the car does look okay, but when you look up closer there's some really bad stuff on this. This paint needs taking back a layer and protecting. First up is one of my favourites, it's the pink foam. This is just going to soak the entire thing and start the cleaning process. Now it's time to get the brush out and brush it all. Now it's time to wash it all off. So one thing I do want to try before we finish cleaning this thing is there's a Z-Tech badge there, or Z-Tech. Or on the Fiesta badge there. Um, so I think what we want to do is I've got my heat gun down there um, and I want to get that super hot and try and debadge this thing. Now I've seen some teenagers doing this on the internet so I thought I must be able to do it so let's give it a crack. So I've heated this up and we're gonna try and just get it off. That worked pretty well. You can see there's a lot of tar and glue that so we're gonna get some Tenzi tar and glue remover and spray it and get it all off. So I'll show you guys that when it's all off. So after a small burn on my arm and some tar and glue remover, the thing is debadged and I really like how it looks. I think it's looking pretty smart. I'm really happy with that little modification, completely free, don't have to tell the insurance because I'm just taking the badges off my car. It's not gonna make it any faster. Well, maybe about, maybe 25 horsepower more there, but ultimate cool kid points. So a bit of a change of scenery, I hope you enjoyed the cinematics, I decided we only live 15 minutes away from the countryside, let's utilise that and get some cool shots of the car. But next thing to do is tomorrow I'm going to put the EBC brakes, yellow stuff and some new discs on the car. I'm super excited, so I'll see you guys then. So it is now a new day and I've parked the car in the shade because there is actually a weather warning out in the UK right now and some schools have been cancelled which I think a little bit excessive but anyway i've got some yellow stuff here for me you see that you saw me pick up in the last video if you haven't seen that it'll be up there or there i can't remember where it is um but yeah we're gonna get the yellow stuff on the car now i chose the yellow stuff because it's what i run on the drift car and um yeah it heats up super fast and it works promptly <laughs> Now we have the wheel off and we can see the brake disc and the brake caliper and the rusty old brake pads so let's get the new ones on. So that is the old brake pads off and I just want to say look at the erosion on this disc. I mean I don't know how I was driving on that. That is terrible. I mean, it's all just flaking off. I can actually flick it off with my finger. Oh dear. All right, so I have been out here for a solid two hours and I have got one bolt out. Got the top one out there. I literally had to heat it up with this and it's still, yeah, still didn't come out on the bottom one. So it's rounded off and I'm really angry about it. I've spent two hours and I've got one belt out. So we're just gonna keep going out and see what I can do, but I'm kind of losing hope right now. So we can see here the difference between these old yucky brakes. I mean, I don't even know. And then these lovely new yellow stuff EBC brake pads. I cannot wait to get these on. But first I've got to get these stupid bolts out. 
After another hour of trying, just to string the bolt even more. Not really going well at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, to be honest. So, it is currently 25 past five. Now, I started doing this at 12, and I finally got it off. So, I thought I deserved an ice pop. I'll show you guys now. That's right, so you can see here, the bolt is finally out. That is so painful. I'm gonna have to find a new one. Um, but you can see I've actually ended up melting a little bit of that boot there. But that took me five hours to get to this point. That's just horrendous. Now is the easiest bit. All I have to do is take, the, take that little bracket off there and uh, swap the disc over and then put it all back together. And then again on the other side. Got a lovely little old versus new comparison there. Oh yeah, the car is getting all the bells and whistles put on it. And just like that, I have assembled the rest of the brakes. The yellow stuff looked really cool in there. I was thinking about painting these brake calipers, but maybe that's a job for another day. So all that's left to do now is pop the wheel on and then go over to the other side and do the same. And now I'm not gonna make you guys watch that painful five hour journey again. Hopefully this one won't take as long. I'll tell you how long it takes, but let's put them on. And there we go. Those ones went on like that. Literally old ones straight off new ones straight on, and they do just look really, really cool. So I'm just gonna lower the car down, obviously put the tire on first, and then take it for a quick drive down the road, make sure everything's a-okay. Car is started, let's reverse out the drive and test out these brakes. So far, so good. Things falling off. Oh yeah, I can feel them. Yeah, so I can feel that top layer just being broken in. So what I am gonna have to do is drive, a, well, when I'm driving around, it just kind of break these in. So I will probably take these things out to the countryside um, where I can probably break them in. Obviously, taking it easy. Taking it nice and easy. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this part of the video. We might go into another modification or we may just leave it there. So if we do just leave it there, please do like and subscribe. Um, the first one of these videos, when I announced the car did really well, the next one didn't do so well. So we will see how this one goes. But if you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up so I can see what you guys enjoy. Anyway, thank you. See you guys soon. Okay, so a bit of a change of scenery now. Maddie!